let's talk about Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The number eight, which you see on the slide, represents the RHEL 8 version, which was released back in May 2019. Now, today we are at RHEL 8.5, and next year we plan to release in in 2022, we plan to release RHEL 9. And RHEL 8 is based on four key themes, innovation, transformation, optimization, and protection. Let's go through one by one. The first one, innovation. We had many innovations into Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but over here, let's use one example, which is application streams. What are application streams? Application streams helps you to run multiple different versions of the same applications on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which simply means that you get more versions of the same applications or frameworks frequently being released onto Red Hat Enterprise Linux. But how does that help us? How is it going to help us from an administrator or a developer perspective? For an administrator, say for example, Postgres 10. Postgres, Postgres database 10 is a default version in RHEL 8. From an administrator, for an administrator, they would like to have a version, one version behind, which is stable, secure, and it is performing. So they would like to have 9.6 as an example so that they know that it is working and it has minimum downtime. But for the admin, for, but for the developers, on the other hand, they would like to have the greatest and the latest version of Postgres, which is 12 and 13, so that they can build the next generation applications. They can create more creative applications around it. And when we do it, we validate it. We validate all these different frameworks and the applications. We certify it so that you are sure that it runs in your environment compared to a community version. Now let's go to the second one, which is transformation. We all have different types of environments. It could be physical, it could be virtual, private cloud, public cloud, and so on, different types of environments. From an administrator standpoint, we as administrators have to deploy operating system images on various different types of environments. And it could be, it, we could be using manual tools and other type of tools, and it could be a time consuming process. And we might end up having a non-standardized kind, non-consistent type of images across these environments. So with the help of Image Builder, Image Builder is a technology which comes with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. With the help of Image Builder, we can create a blueprint, a blueprint where you can download and bring all the packages into it, create a blueprint, create a golden image out of it. And then with a click of a, click of a button, you can create images for VMware. Say, for example, you can create for OpenStack. You can create images for various different public cloud providers. So that becomes a one consistent image for you to deploy across various different types of environments, which means that you are saving time. And in case if you have an issue where you have to troubleshoot and we have to apply a patches, the same patches gets into every other environment because it's the same image. So that's a that's the image builder capability we bring into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And if you are if you are into a journey of hybrid cloud, if you are into a hybrid cloud journey, image builder helps you to create that consistent image across various different types of environments. And this can be done with the help of with the help of the graphical user interface itself. You don't have to get into a command line. If you are a Windows user or a Unix user, the graphical user interface helps you to run through this process to create that blueprint from the web console itself. So next one, optimization. Red Hat Insights. So what is Red Hat Insights? Red Hat Insights is a software as a service capability that comes with Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which helps you to get predictive analytics capabilities, which helps you to resolve your issues proactively. So one question over here, would you be able to tell me all the different issues which you did not know about? How could somebody tell all the different issues which you did not know about? And that's exactly what Red Hat Insights will do. Insights will proactively tell you all the different issues which you did not know about, not only telling you that, but also providing you with remediation capabilities, providing you an Ansible playbook to remediate those, those issues. And you can use that Ansible playbook not only to fix, one, fix that issue in one single machine, you can play that across your estate. So that one click of a button, you are fixing the issues across your machines. And this is something unique to Red Hat. This is something unique to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Does not come with any other 
Linux distributions or even community versions. And you just have to activate this. You don't have to buy this. It comes with, as long as you have a Red Hat Enterprise Next subscription, Red Hat Insights is available for you. You just have to activate Red Hat Insights to get these functionalities. The fourth point, protect, protection. We all know that Red Hat Enterprise Linux is one of the most safest and the secure operating system out there in the market. It comes with industry standard security certifications like FIPS 142, common criteria, which makes your environment compliant. Say, for example, if you are working in an FSI industry or in a government organization or, or any organization which requires a compliance. Because of these security certifications, we, we can be assured that you are running a compliance-based image. The moment you deploy Red Hat Enterprise Linux, it can be passed on to administrators and developers to start their work. Unlike the community versions where we have to harden it, we have to make it compliant, run your compliance policies and so on and so forth, where, where you save time and brings cost efficiencies in your environment. One new thing which we added over here is any critical and important security patches now can be applied without rebooting your machine. More uptime for you, higher customer satisfaction with the help of live patching. And this can be done via the web console, the web GUI, the graphical user, user interface itself without getting into command line, which makes your life much more easier, especially if you are not a Linux user. If you're starting to learn about Linux, starting to learn, learn about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, your learning curve goes down with the help of uh, using web, web interfaces. Where do we use these different different uh, distributions if you are looking forward to contribute to an operating system development or if you are developing an operating system that's a place where fedora fedora comes into picture and that's a place where you should get into for operating system development or for desktop use cases if you want to uh, be with us in terms of uh, defining the roadmap for Red Hat enterprise linux or if you want to participate in Red Hat Enterprise Linux development, that's a place where CentOS Stream comes into picture. If you are, if you want to run your workloads in a stable, performing, secure, consistent way, that's a place where Red Hat Enterprise Linux comes into picture. We provide that capabilities, and that's a that's a place where the value of subscription comes into picture. And if you are developing applications in a containerized images, that's a place where the universal base image comes into picture. So that's a cut down, stripped down version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is around uh, 30 megabytes to 500 megabytes. So if you are developing applications in a containerized format, universal base image helps you. And if you are a developer out there, and if you want to join the developer program, we have uh, no cost developer programs for you. You have just have to get into developer.redhat.com where you can get individual subscriptions. Or if you are an organization who is developing applications for internal purposes, we have developer program for organizations as well. And if you are if you are an ISP, if you are a software developer, if you are a partner, if you are a hardware player who is looking forward to work with us to test your test and validate your hardware and softwares with us, we have a partner connect uh, program. So different uh, types of dif distributions for different environments, different use cases, as well as different programs to meet different types of uh, criteria as well. Now, what if I have CentOS Linux and I want to move to Red Hat Enterprise Linux? What should I do? We have a tool which is known as Convert to RHEL. This tool is available in our website. Anybody who has a Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, subscription can access this. It is completely supported by Red Hat. You can run this tool on a CentOS machine. It converts automatically converts your CentOS Linux machine into Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And this tool is intelligent. It helps you to tell you, when you run it, it helps you to tell you what are the different roadblocks you might face. And you can remediate that and continue with the upgrades. So there is a pre-check this tool will do, and then you can remediate that and then continue with the upgrades. At the same time, something new which we have introduced is the Convert to RHEL which now supports UEFI systems as well. Also at the same time, not only converting from or transitioning from CentOS to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Convert to RHEL also supports Oracle Linux uh, systems as well. And before we uh, before we conclude the presentation uh, from my part, I would like to share uh, some of the resources. 
Let me get to the website lab.redhat.com. Lab.redhat.com is a place where you can play around with the latest functionalities of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. A place where you can learn about new features and new functionalities. You just have to get into lab.redhat.com. You don't have to register for it. No registration is required. You can pass it to your friends, colleagues, and peers. They can also uh, learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So there are 13 to 15 uh, different scenarios for you to learn about. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, learn about deploying containers using Portman. I can simply click on Start Scenario. It takes me to the, that particular scenario where it's at 10 minutes of lab. I can learn about that. I can finish that lab and go back with the other scenarios. So use it to your advantage. Learn about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, different scenarios. If, if you want to uh, create your first Ansible playbook, uh, it's the right place for you to uh, try it out.